Alright, we're back again with more Mega Man X for the Super Nintendo. Mega Man X for sure. And now we're going to go to the, uh, this is the first, this is technically the second level where we got to backtrack to get some of the things. This is the airport. Uh, this is, uh, Gravity Beetle from his, uh, his main stage. And I had to go to the bathroom because there was a mosquito, a mosquito in my room, and I just killed it with my hand while I, you know how, like, they fly away and you just grab it out of the air? That's what I did. <laughs> Which is cool. So if you fall down there, there's no death spikes or anything. Just, you just gotta climb back up, and there's enemies in the way, so you gotta. So if we run into Bit or Bite, we're gonna have to kill him. So yeah, he's not on this level. It's good. So yeah, the, there's another ride armor coming up here. So uh, just climb up here, and then you just need the uh, air dash boots to get that. Again. I like I like this part of the game because like you know you, you can see the animations are pretty clear and, and it just feels really smooth like running through here. Just gotta watch all the bastards. So this is like on top. This is like supposed to be like on one of the, the top of the air. Like one of the those are like the watchtowers in the background. It's like you're like on one of the th the towers themselves. While we uh, scale the towers, we look. Fun. To the top. Those are like heat seeking missiles, apparently. I don't know if that's a glitch. If you make me doing that. But, uh, anyways, uh, anyway. So, now we go in here. And we're still going, apparently, because this level is a bit long. But, yeah. Now we just have to, uh, and just get to the, just get to the end of the level. Don't, don't worry about this, uh, just don't, don't worry about this crap. Like, it's not bad or anything, but, you know, you just don't want to kill these enemies. Keep them for them. Yeah, so we'll go up here, and then, you know, then we gotta, then we gotta kill some. Then, we just gotta watch out for this. This guy's gonna shoot that, and he's gonna do a ton of damage if it hits me, so. Oh, boy. See, that's what I don't like about this game. Like, sometimes you get stuck in a wall. Like, it's like a juggle effect. They, they call this, it's like a internet meme is a, a juggle effects. So, uh, internet slang. Juggle effects. Uh, you know, like, you get stuck in a position where, like, they keep pushing you back and forth and you can't really get out of it. You, you know, you can do it to some bosses and you can kill them really fast. It happens a lot in JRPGs. It can happen a lot in Mega Man, actually, like, trying to climb around the enemies, and then, like, they'll hit you, and then they'll send you back, and then, like, the enemies that you previously killed are just right there again, and, <laughs> you know, it's really funny about this, you can actually dash underneath them. <laughs> Probably shouldn't do it. Though, but... It's like, damn it, die! It's like, ah! Oh! Oh! Ah! Anyways, no, I'm just, uh, trying to kill them. Okay, no. Gravity Beetle's dead. And now we can go to the next stage, which is, I forget if it's, yeah, we gotta go kill the last one next, he's the fifth Maverick, uh, no, eighth, sixth Maverick we gotta kill. And then if we kill him, then we can go back to this stage, get the Turbo Heart, and then we'll go to uh, Bolt Cat, Vicious Stage, then we can go back to, uh, what's his name, and get the, uh, you know, we can go back to, uh, Rhino stage and get the uh, tunnel Rhino stage and get the uh, the other upgrades that we missed. And yeah, this level's actually pretty cool. So the level's got like a rock and roll type of music. I don't know. It, it just it, it's crazy to think that you know like you know when when you play a video game, it's it's not the game itself that's hard, but rather the fact that the game can just like there's just gimmicks. Like I, I wouldn't say like gimmicks like in the sense that you know like. You know, it was like it wasn't like a design gimmick, like you know, like the game designers didn't just put it there intentionally. But it's just crazy to think that you know, because things aren't perfect, how things can just go wrong and then like they screw up. Like you know, you have something that just you know outright you're so damn good at these games, and then like you can have something that just outright destroys like what you're good at, and it just makes it look like you suck at this game. Almost. So this is the. Uh, Mini boss's weakness is uh. Yeah, there you go. Drain his health. There we go. Got some health for once in my life. That explosion looked 
pretty cool, that animation. So yeah, in this next part here, um, we have to, uh, we'll get the ride armor. We have, in order to get the ride armor, though, we have to uh, find it, so, which is right down there. But you need Tunnel Rhino's, uh, ability to get it, though, which is right here, I believe. Mean. just got back there, now. The... Now we got it. Okay, that's good. So yeah, you can you can either use that to get the turbo heart, the trick where you can jump out of the um, the ride armor, and then uh, or you can use the uh, so like you can jump once and then you can jump out of the ride armor, or you can jump and then just do that, and then you can climb up here and uh, get the turbo heart. And as soon as you go into that door, I think there's a good chance that we gotta fight uh, what's his name? Uh, bite. Yeah, bit bite. If he's not on the stage, I'd be surprised. Oh, he's not on, sorry. So, that is surprisingly easy, you know, we just gotta keep going to, uh... We just gotta keep going to, uh, the end now. And then Tunnel Rhino is, uh... Well, not Tunnel Rhino, we gotta kill, uh, Last Hornet. And if you have his weakness, which is gravity well... I wonder if, you know, in Tales of Symphonia... Well, actually, the whole Tales series, I wonder if... That's where they got the name for it, Gravity Well. Because if you play Tales of uh, Symphonia, I know this game came out way before Tales of Symphonia for the GameCube. I wonder if that's where they got the name for it. So Namco, or was it Tales of Fantasia that came out? I bet, I bet it wasn't, but they didn't use Gravity, Gravity Well. It wasn't an attack that really existed until, like, what, Tales of Destiny? Tales of... So Gravity Well, the uh, the name could actually be uh, from Mega Man X3. I think I think that's that that might actually be where Namco might have gotten the uh, the the attack from. I I think. So yeah, you know you, you have to. The only way to really use the Gravity Well is you, it, it kills all airborne enemies. But the only way to use it is to uh, shoot it. And then you gotta wait for it to, you know, it'll draw in its uh, gravity depressor, and it will come back into Mega Man X. So if you stand over the uh, the thing, and you can reload it faster, and then you can just shoot it again, and you know, and the game will let you uh, kill the uh, the Mavericks with it, which is well, last one. Last one, it's not easy to beat if you don't have his weakness. I, I, he is an easy boss, you know, but I mean, people who've done like no damage boss rushes with uh, just the X Buster, yeah, good luck with that. That, that. that boss is hard. Someone's going down the road! Someone's got something in the back of their truck. That yeah, looks like a uh, wallpaper. Wallpaper. Well, anyway, okay, so now we're gonna go fight uh, a mile in uh, the current state that we're in, I guess. You can technically get the shield weapon too if you want. It. You can just make that disappear by doing that. Or we can just wait until after we beat this stage. Now, this stage isn't that hard. Vile's not that hard either. He's actually a lot easier in this game than he is in Mega Man X1. But even in, but even that, he's even easier in this game too. Because, again, you know, just uh, collect as much health as you can, I guess. Because, again, he, he's not hard. Like, you're not going to be able to beat him. But, you know, he is one of those kind of bosses where, like, again, like, like I said, you know, much like Bite and Bit, you know, it's the last shot that matters that kills him, and you have to kill him with, uh, there's two right weaknesses, you can either use, uh, I don't have his right weakness right now, which is the last boss, we're gonna fight him, he's, uh, known as, uh, uh Crush Craw Crayfish, Crayfish Crawfish, and Vile has two, uh, he, he has two, uh, health bars, he's got the, uh, he's got this riot armor, which he uses, and then he uses, um, so, you know, you gotta just keep shooting them. I mean, this is gonna take you a little bit of time, but, you know, hey. He just does this, back and forth, back and forth. So, hey, if you can charge up a shot and shoot him with it, it's better to kill him this way and then kill him with uh, the original, then kill him with the, the Stingray, or not the Stingray, the, uh, what's that attack called? The Ray, Ray Stinger, or whatever it's called. And we kill him with that, and then we're good. Then we can, uh, then we can use it to, uh, 
and you can use that to take them out with um, his knife. Just have to charge it and shoot him. And it goes in the right arm. Okay, so now what he's gonna do is he's gonna, he's gonna go in the air. This is how this works. Okay, so he's gonna do this. He's gonna do that. He's gonna go in the air, shoot you several times, and then just repeat. It's so really, it's not that hard to kill. When he goes up in the air like that, you might have to like kind of space out a little bit in order to get that second shot on him. But again, you know, like I said, you know, he can drain his health faster than he can kill you. And how come he gets to hover? That's not even fair. Bastard. <laughs> this is over. And he dies. Oh, well. Well, no. Anyways, he dies. And... Well, if you don't kill him with this weakness weapon, he won't say anything and he'll just, he'll just run away. So, he's dead. And there should be an energy capsule over here. Now we got like, what, like 50 seconds to get the hell out of here? And now we gotta hurry up and just, you just gotta, you just gotta run. Take that one life. If, oh, by the way, if you die in this part, for whatever reason, he respawns. So, yeah. You can also find the stage on uh, Blizzard Buffalo. I haven't really looked up the, uh, the name. If you actually use the um, anti-gravity, the gravity well, you can actually uh, use that elevator, but yeah, it ain't worth it. This is actually kind of like a parody of... Um, you know this part right here? It's actually a parody of a stage called uh, uh, Mag Magna Centipede from uh, Mega Man X2. You know, where like near the end you had like these blocks you had to jump over and all that and the, the floor would crumble. So, now that we beat uh, the factory, or yeah, once, once you beat certain stages, certain things change about them. Like, now you'll notice how, like, there's, uh, the green dudes instead of the, uh, the red ones. I forget if it's because we beat the airport or if it's because we beat, uh, the last Hornet stage. I forget exactly, uh, how, 100% how that works, but, uh, either way, um, yeah, I think it's Blast Hornet stage, but, uh, here's the Turbo Heart. And yeah, those will kill you in one hit, so watch out for them. Watch out for the spikes or whatever you want to call those. Because I almost died. <laughs> almost fell on them. I don't know why I almost did that, but he yeah, just did. But hey, anyway, uh, yeah, we're just going to climb up to the top. And then once we get to the top, there's, uh, is it right? Yeah, it's right here. This is where the gravity well, uh, takes place, but I just screwed this up. Don't, don't use all of the Tiger Fang, uh, weapon, because that's going to be, uh, Volt Catfish's weakness, especially in the second form. His, 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 uh, health gets really, he gets, he's one of those, he's a really easy boss, you just gotta keep hitting him with, uh, he takes a little bit of time to kill, but, like, he's a lot easier, he's like one of, he's kind of like, he's got, like, this juggle effect pattern, if you, if you time it right, and, you know, you can kill him, you know, very easily. So, yeah, we gotta, now we're outside. This is also where the last, uh, this is where, uh, this is actually, actually kind of a long thing. Now, Bite might be here. If he's not, then I'll be surprised. He'll be on both cap, but he'll be on the other. Yeah, he's here. Okay, so, Tiger Fang. Now, this guy's not that hard. You just gotta make sure that, you know, you keep jumping when he's about to charge you, because he'll push you against the wall, and then, but just keep doing it. He's a bit slow, but when he does this, though... He launches this anti-gravity where he kind of pushes the wall against you, or he does this, you know, just to kind of show off. But, you know, he's not that hard of a boss, though. You, know? you just gotta get the right pattern going. And then as soon as you kill, as soon as you kill him, he just runs into him. And then he'll die. And then we, we just gotta go uh, fight uh, Volt Catfish, but we gotta get the sub tank first. We gotta go navigate this maze, which really it's not a maze, but we just gotta go find the maze. We'll be good. Just gotta be glad to do it, right? Okay, so we'll do this. So, yeah. Yeah. And. The mistake that people make with this is that they think you have to you have to have like a certain one to do this. You don't have to. 
So even in speed run, when they use the frog, and they, you, you don't, you can technically do this. You go, because the frog right armor just hops, and then there's your sub tank. And there's the last one. The ride armor, I should say. I wouldn't say the world record does it. I think. I just remember I'm trying to think of the Mega Man X speedrun that somebody did a long time ago. Yeah, that, that's easy to miss. There's another health from down there. You just climb up here. And then once you get past here, then you just fall down here. Right there, and then there's a couple catfishes. Uh, this is like one of the longest stages in the game. I like how you can dash right into the door. And just walk out. Right. So now I'll get Tiger Fang out. Because this is going to be its weakness. Again, Bolt Catfish is not a hard boss if you... Uh, and I forgot to go to the airport level and get the, uh, the Turbo Heart, so we'll have to go back there and... Okay. Again, Bolt Catfish, if you stand right next to him, he'll just jump right over you. Right? Don't move too far, because you don't take damage from him. But you got to hit him with the attack, though, and he'll fall straight down. Again, his tail doesn't do any damage to you, but his feet will. See, that's, that's what I'm talking about. Hit detection is always off with certain video games. Like, they're hitboxes. You know, if you walk up to them and they don't take any damage, but then you start taking damage. So, yeah, I'm going to worry about that. So, here is the, uh, here's where you, he's going to start taking damage. You know, you're going to keep, he's going to keep jumping because he's trying to trigger a special attack. But... If you just keep doing this stuff, <laughs> he can't use any of his attacks. So he'll just cancel it, reset it, cancel it, reset it. I like how he dies. He blows up. <laughs> Fine by me. Take it and leave it. All right? That's how we do it. So yeah, he's dead. Very good. Very good example of a game that you know it does itself well. So that's how you kill the little catfish. Now we're gonna go to. We're going to go to the airport, we're going to get the rest of the items, and then we're going to go to the Tunnel Rhino. And with uh, Trident Thunder, it actually makes everything a lot easier. So I'll show it off really quick. You just kill everything in one hit almost. Like, this, this weapon's like overpowered as hell. You, the, the, once the speedrunners get their hands on this weapon, this is like the only attack they'll use. A good percentage of the game, I should say. Like, they just, it creates this defensive wall and stuff like that. You can even push the attack button again to release it, or just charge it for you. And it just drops the, uh, the attack down below, which is cool. Which is cool. So, anyways, uh, now that's over with, uh, what are we doing now? We're, gonna go, we're just gonna go to Volt Catfish this stage. No. Just, uh, or not Volt Catfish, we're gonna go to Cray Crawfish this stage. I'll get the rest of the items after. Um, anyways, this level's got a really cool soundtrack. Anyways. I forgot to get the item that I needed. So right here is where the ride armor is. I always used to mistake it for the uh, the turbo heart, and then the other one was down below. But now this is uh, just charge it up, and then he hits the, the gravity field. You fall down here. There you go. Take that. Again, this game this game is awesome for the price. I mean, oh gee, man, that's a lot of money to pay for just to get a physical copy of this, but it could be worse though. This is a great Mega Man X game, I'll tell you that right now. So, uh, jump. So yeah, uh, Blizzard Buffalo in this stage and, uh, Volt Catfish had, uh, the portal that led to, uh, the factory level. It's still the same level again, where you had to fight Bile. So there's a Turbo Heart, there's the last item on the stage. And then you got him down there, it didn't make a difference, though. So. He killed Bite, so he's not on the stage, which is nice. Bit. Bite? I bite and bit and bit. And so is Bile. Goodbye, Bile. May you rest in pieces. Now, if you if you just fall down here, that's where the factory is. But see, now we already beat it. It's already sealed off, so. Can't really get it. I don't know where it is in Tunnel Rhino stage. Or not Tunnel Rhino, uh, Blizzard Buffalo. People say it's there, but I've never been able to find it. I'm not saying it doesn't exist there. It's just, I don't know. I just don't know off the top of my head where it's at. So. 
Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you this. This, this guy will only die a certain way. You have to shoot him with certain weapons. So apparently that's like the only way to kill him, apparently. <laughs> so yeah, now we're in the engine room. Not, not the engine room from Banjo-Kazooie, the one that everybody hates. But this is, uh, you know, if you use a tiger fang here, you get a couple free, free wants. I'm just going here. Here's the mini boss. And he's the hardest mini boss of all time. There we go. Now the that was the engine. Now the uh, room is gonna sink. Now this uh this is uh on a crash course to sink. So we gotta it's already underwater. The ship is. Yeah. Now it's possible. I I mean I I don't know how the speedrunners do it. I don't even I don't even think the world record even does this. There's a trick where you can actually kill like you can get like multiple hits in one on a Cray Crawl for sure, and you can kill it instantaneously. Like it, I I did it on my like my first playthrough playing this. I found it totally by accident, but I don't know off the top of my head how they do it. Yeah. Like, but anyways, this is this is his weakness. Uh, what you want to do is you just want to go up to him really carefully, and then just kind of kind of stay away when you're not touching him. But you're, like, you're touching him with the attack, and he'll just die fast. You know, that's like essentially how you want to do it, and, and, and that's how you want to kill him too. So once you kill him, well, he's dead. All the Mavericks are dead, so that's good. Now we can go to Mega Man X's stage. Doctor Chan. So this guy right here on the right, that's Doctor King. He's the one that found Mega Man X, and uh, he's an archaeologist. Very, very intelligent man. In the series, at least. Talks about how he found Dobbler's hiding spot, and then we're going to go find him. Gonna make him pay for his crimes against... Here's another very scary theme. Tunnel, I know. It's like the fear of the unknown. You hear this theme song. You know that there's something going on there, but you don't know what it is, though. And the game just tells you to go there and find out. <clears throat> Give me my energy. I need my energy. All right. So here's the first uh, weapon. Here's the, uh, the turbo heart. We can't get it. So now we can get it. Try thunder. You can try and glitch your way through that wall, but you can't. So good luck. Cause you ain't gonna do it. I've tried it before, and you just can't. You can't get these weapons. You, you just can't do this. The game will not let you. And if you get hit by that, you fall straight down onto the spikes, die, and then the game sends you back to back to the first level. So in order to get to where we gotta go, I like doing this. You just fall straight down, kind of we gotta go through here, and we gotta hike up a wall. I think we gotta go past another one, but we don't have to fight that uh, that wall grinder. Again. We just have to. Yeah, here's another. Yeah, up here is where we gotta fight him. Yep, and there we go. There's the last capsule we need. So Dr. Light is going to tell us something. He's going to give us a lesson, boys. Like back in my day when I was still alive, I left this capsule here. <laughs> but, but, like, who put it there, though? Who put it there? <laughs> that's the question. There's the blade armor that we got. So that's right. Now that's all the upgrades. All the upgrades. Good. Eight is the magic number. All right, sweet. So now we're gonna go uh, fight uh, Doctor Dobbler. All right. So now we got all the weapons and everything. Uh, I'm gonna tell you right now. Uh, use this weapon. You can use the Trident Thunder if you want, or use the uh, use this. This weapon rocks too. The ceiling's gonna try and cave in on you, so gotta be careful. Stay, stay close to the ground. One hit kills are not really something you want to be a fan of. Cheap deaths are 
one thing. Okay, now here's another wall that's going to try and claw him on you. This is kind of like reminiscing on Mega Man X2, if you've ever played it. Um, the walls try to... There's like these little things that would pull the walls together. You know, that. This is Sigma's weakness, too, by the way. The, uh, the first one, at least. The first, first form. The second one, you know, he's immune to all attacks except for charge shots. Except for you can kill him if you have level. So we're going to get the gold chip on this level. Uh, like I said in Mega Man X1 Let's Play, uh, there's like uh, certain things that you can get but with you after you get all the items. He's only weak against uh, the first two hits with him, so once you kill him. If Zero is not here, there's a machine that's uh, rotating to bring the coals down, the walls down. But, you know, he kills it just as fast as you kill the first boss, so you got to watch out for that. So yeah, now, you know, we kill him. So yeah, now, just be careful, because I'm going to need some health here. Now, the blade armor. Now, I'm going to exit this. I'm just going to show you this. Now, go down here, and there is the pink capsule. Now, make sure, don't, if, if you ran into any other pink capsules, there's four other ones. If you actually grab one of them, the game will not let you get this. But if you turn the game off, put the password in so you're at the first stage again, with everything, this will give you. So, I'm just gonna stand right here and let my, uh, yeah, you know, you fill up these X, these, uh, okay, look, look really carefully. You see how he just did that? Uh, so, he's gonna fill up my energy tanks. I'm gonna go charge my phone really fast. 